Okay guys, so what we've got is a maple neck. Do have gloves on, do have a mask on for the dust. Now, the normal way of shaping a neck by hand would be with a good rasp file, like this Nicholson. Great file. Um, tons of fun using stuff like this, you know. And then I've got a smaller Nicholson, and they're both half round. One is a coarse side, as you can see, the other is fine side. And then you got one of my favorite tools. You can see I've been working with it a little bit. One side is fine, and the other side, and these could be cleaned quite easily. The other side is coarse. This is a Shinto Japanese rasp saw. Now I'm going to put my mask up a little bit because the dust really isn't good for you. And I've done them with just the rasp files. But the Shinto, I'm going to show you. And I took one pass on the neck. So you can see. Now watch. I've got it marked off here and here where I want it. Watch this Shinto go to work. I'm controlling the cut. I'm basically going side to side, but with a little forward and upper motion. What you're starting to see, well, you're starting to see my table move, but that's not a good thing. There we go, see if we can stabilize it. Don't mind the casual attire. It's 100 degrees here. As you can see, I'm bringing the shoulders down quite quickly with this file. I don't know if you can see it, we're starting to round off here. Now, it usually takes me about 40 minutes to do, maybe an hour to do both sides. I'm going to go at it, and we'll be back in a second to show you what we get. Okay, so about, let's say, 15 minutes later, you can notice that the one side facing the camera is rounded out. I'm going to hit it with some sandpaper. Just real quick. This is some 60 grit, just to get a good look and see what I've got going. I've got some end grain right here. I don't know if you can see it. it. Might be off camera. Some end grain. Give us a little trouble. An end grain will. If something's going to give you trouble, it's going to be the end grain. And this maple is seriously hard maple. But I believe. If you, you see what's going on here, and I think you could probably see it, is that that edge is quite square. That edge is nice and rounded. It's going to be a G-profile neck, kind of a chunky baby. Not as chunky as some of my necks, but this is going on a snakehead telly. I'm going to flip this neck around, see if we can't get the other side done. Back in a minute. Okay guys, the last time I did this I started out and I had already made a couple of passes on the neck. So I thought I'd start this side and let you see it from the gate. You can see this edge is perfectly square. This is the edge that I've already rounded over. Now, for the sake of comparison, I'll show you this is a Nicholson file. Okay? half round on one side and as you can see 
it takes the wood off. It really does. And what I like to do is work it right in here. You know, areas where you've got a curvature, they're great. This Nicholson file, the same way, small, but in a curved area, really nice. But, when you want to take wood off, this Shinto file, guys, hope you can see it. I really can't see the camera, but you can see that one side's coarse, one side's fine. I'm going to go with the coarse side. stable. As you can see, we're moving an awful lot of wood real fast. take a look, you can notice that along that edge we've removed. It's already starting to be rounded. Okay, give me a few minutes, I'll be right back and we'll show you the finished product. Okay guys, um, as you can see, it's now rounded off and I used the Shinto file because believe me, these babies just the bomb. Followed up with the coarse side of and half round of the Nicholson. Now I'm going to take this small Nicholson, which you can see, half round, medium, and coarse. Same on the other side that's flat. And what I'm going to do now, quite simply, is I've got the I've got it where I want. So I'm going to do a little bit of mild shaping, you know, like just things you'd expect to find, no sharp edges anywhere, you know, and you're not going to use that aggressive Shinto file, plus it leaves marks from Hades, I don't know if you can see the, the marks, and what I'll do is I'll take the half round or the flat side, and on the medium. And what I'm doing is just taking out some of the marks. And that's gonna save me a little bit of trouble when I get sand. And on here to shape, I'll use the half round side down here by the heel. And the end grain will give you a bit of a trouble, but you can all, you're gonna sand all of that out anyway. So what I'm gonna do is make sure there's no sharp edges, no sharp contours, stuff like that. Make sure that the neck feels good, and then I'm going to hit it with some sandpaper, bring it down to justice, or to what I want it to be. So, aggressively take it apart with the Shinto, follow up with the Nicholson, fine shape, and with another Nicholson. Sandpaper coming up. Okay guys, so hit it with a rubber block, a little bit of sandpaper. And as you can see, profile neck. A new uh, snakehead telly neck. See ya.